Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00, and today we take a slightly different pace and instead look at two pieces of technology in development with Microsoft and how it could be used to the benefit of the Halo experience. First off, let's take a quick look at the HoloLens. The HoloLens is a headset developed by Microsoft that allows the wearer to experience augmented reality or AR. Augmented reality is an emerging market which is receiving growing attention. It's the idea that we can physically wear devices that allow instant and intuitive access to information directly in the wearer's field of view. If you consider how the app market came to define the smart device market, the advent and wide-scale adoption of well-executed augmented reality technology could see yet another insane boom in app development and emerging job markets that simply wouldn't be able to exist without augmented reality. And this is really appealing to people on the broadest of scales. But there has been long-standing issues with size, weight, energy requirement, limited technology, narrow viewing box, focus depth, the list goes on. There have been advances in technology that are allowing these devices to start becoming viable, but development is still needed until this technology is available to the masses. But I'll cover that in a quite separate video about augmented reality and HUD technology mimicking Halo technology but in the real world. Now setting aside the immense applications of augmented reality not only at home but also out in the real world, us gamers are probably more ready and willing to get our hands on this technology than most. But how could the HoloLens be used to enhance the Halo experience? That's really the question I've got on the forefront of my mind. Well the most obvious is HUD replication. The HUD visible on screen when we play Halo is a dynamic entity within the code of the game. It seems plausible that if the current Xbox One or even Project Scarlet detected a HoloLens connected to the console, future Halo games could utilise this technology in a number of ways, chief amongst them, uh, chief amongst them, displaying the in-game HUD on the HoloLens. Suddenly the console could effectively activate something similar to the blind skull, taking away all the HUD elements on screen, but then redisplaying that information on the HoloLens, enabling you to see the HUD on the HoloLens as if you were actually wearing a Spartan's helmet. The dynamic information from the HUD, including targeting reticle, ammo counter, current weapons loadouts, grenades, and other bits of critical information, could seemingly be hovering in the air in front of you, but without obscuring your view of the actual screen. This would be one way that the gaming experience could be extended out into higher dimensionality. Other ways include peripheral but useful information to the mission objectives being displayed in the air just off to the side of the main screen, allowing you at a glance to access narrative extending content without adding additional layers of hard text and data to an otherwise seamless UI. This could be presented to you as if an AI is feeding this information directly to you from the game. HoloLens also has a small camera built into it. This could be used in tandem with an augmented reality marker QR code that could even come in the game box on a small card. You could place this down on a surface nearby and the HoloLens will detect it and display your AI, maybe even a future version of Cortana, on a low profile holographic terminal right there in your room. She could feed you dynamic information about gameplay. It could be acted out in a similar way to the mocap technology they used for Halo 5's cutscenes, allowing a real actor to bring the AI to life and interact with both the player and the game in a dynamic way, blurring the lines between gameplay and real life. She could even have comical moments where she turns to the screen and comments on stuff you're doing in-game. So what if you don't have the HoloLens? Well, in a similar way to how the Analyze function with the Connect worked in Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, it would still be there as game content but not as dynamic and engaging, thereby encouraging the acquisition of HoloLens technology. Let's face it, us gamers love our gadgets, and Microsoft love selling them to us. Although I hope they keep a close eye on the price point, maybe even offering a slimmed down version for exclusive connectivity to the Xbox. But hey, that's a start, right? I'd definitely be interested in trying something along those lines, but we have more to talk about. Now let's look at Project xCloud. This is Project xCloud. The simplified version is, this is an example of game streaming to any and every device possible. Similar to how you can stream your Xbox One to a PC running Windows 10, this would enable you to connect your smart device 
to your controller via a simple phone caddy and stream your game using wireless display or wide-eye technology to your phone. There are many, many more issues with this technology, however, the biggest being latency or lag. Adding additional signal processing and network relay devices in between the console, the controller and the display adds a small but significant delay in the gaming experience. Even Microsoft acknowledges this in that they know that streaming games in this way is inevitable but also years away. There are limitations in this technology which would make playing games in this way basically unusable with the current technology. Imagine playing Halo but with a constant and unavoidable lag of a few hundredths of a millisecond, although it doesn't seem like much, and even up to a second or two, it, given how fast things move in the gaming environment, and that you would be making micro-corrections to your aim, your direction of movement, and s simply engaging in direct combat, you'd be the laughing stock of the game because you'd be operating up to a second out of phase of everyone else, meaning you'd basically be having your ass handed to you time and time and time again. I know I'm not really selling this, but I've been thinking on it, and in a similar way to the HoloLens, it could actually be used. It could be a usable extension to the gaming experience, so Project xCloud could be used for displaying ad hoc and additional gameplay content in another engaging way. Halo Waypoint could be installed on your device, along with an adapted version of the Xbox app, and all of your achievements, challenges, and scores could be live updated to your phone. For example, when playing the Master Chief Collection, if you complete an achievement, you get a little notification at the bottom of your screen. And if you've got the app installed, it also sends you a little notification to your phone as well. This could be instead fed through to your phone screen. Terminals could be accessed in-game, and the terminal itself could be displayed via your phone, connected to your controller, rather than being displayed in-game, giving you other ways to engage with the content. In-game, pre-saved loadouts could be available via your phone screen, allowing you the ability to change your loadout on the fly or when you next respawn. Armor customization screens could be available, allowing you to watch the pre-game lobby for, for the game starting, basically, but also changing out your armor components and colors on your phone while you wait. This, if planned well enough in advance and, and built into the game far enough advanced, could have a real and usable benefit within the gameplay. Evolving the process of armoring up that we see in Halo 4 Spartan Ops, the addition of a phone screen could give you peripheral information about armor components, and you could effectively almost flick them up onto your Spartan model in the armor bay before finalizing the look and clicking apply and watching your Spartan actually get armored up with the very components you just picked for the perks they give you in-game, the look, the style, and the raw cool factor. If you want an idea of what I mean by perks, I created a video a while back called In-Game Armor Specs. I've linked it in the description down below if you want to take a look. But the short version is, basically, in-game armor should quite rightly have an effect on your gameplay. Again, evolving the armor specializations that were introduced in Halo 4, where certain components gave you perks, like the Fast Track Armor mod allowing you to rank up quicker, or the Nemesis mod allowing a player to track down enemies who had previously attacked them. This idea was born from the idea that if you wanted to be faster and stronger on the field, your Spartan should rightly be able to use just their tech suit with an adapted fusion pack and an energy shield harness, allowing your Spartan to effectively move without wearing the actual armor plating of Mjolnir. This decrease in weight would allow higher running speeds and much higher power to weight ratios, meaning your melee could be much, much more damaging, but to offset those perks, you're also much more vulnerable to being shot at with only the tech suit and the shields providing protection. Or an EOD pack allowing you to survive much larger and closer explosions, but you also move slower as a consequence because it's up armoured. A stealth pack giving you SPI armour-like camouflage systems but sacrificing energy shields or armour protection or both. All of this could be weighed up via your smart device as you trial out different configurations and permutations of different armor components to get the right balance of what you want from your Spartan, giving you a level of customization that you have never had access to before. A simple graph or interface showing balance between speed, strength, protection, shields, armor, etc. could give you a simple visual cue as to what your Spartan model seems most well suited towards. When you're happy you've achieved what you wanted, 
simply confirm it on your phone screen and watch your Spartan get suited up on the main screen. There are so many interesting and engaging technological developments being done at the moment which would allow the gaming experience to be taken to a whole nother level and in particular Microsoft have a few ideas in the pipeline which are either aimed specifically at the major gaming platform the Xbox or at the very least has significant application to the gaming industry to really take gaming and in particular Halo to new heights of immersion and engagement. These were just two of them that got me thinking of what could be possible in the very very near future while trying to work around some of the inherent problems with this technology at this current stage of development. But I would really love to hear what you guys think. So if you have any comments on the video or the ideas I've laid out, and if you'd like to see more content like this, or even if you don't, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Stick your comment down below, and I look forward to what you have to say. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons Nathan the Silent Cartographer, Miguel, Brian, Sebastian, and Holden, the holders of the mantle, Justin, Darian, Ty, Iron Griffin, and Black Biscuit, my reclaimers, Zach, Deep Cover, Verbal Statue, Spesico, Spartan Alpha 498, Guppy, and Cage, my Metarchs, and all of the other patrons that have jumped aboard to support the channel. I literally can't put it into words how much that means to me. It's just incredible that you guys evidently like what I do enough to support me in that way. If you like Halo lore discussed to insane levels of detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're told the second a new video hits the shelves. Be sure to support us on all major social media channels including Discord and if you really love the channel consider heading over to Patreon and supporting the channel over there. It would mean the world to me and would free up more time for me to put into this content and other Halo related goodness. All of the links are in the description. Take it easy everyone and find peace in the domain. <laughs>